For those looking to buy or sell that open Bitcoin, check out the Blood Store. They have two prices, fast delivery, great customer service. Use code Texas at checkout for a 10% discount. Yo, it's Grand Bunch, but Texas back over here on the Mad Open Team with another edition of Bunch of Cards, you guys. You might have missed a ton of good cards over here in this game, going for the low, low price of cheap. Let's go ahead and go. Yo, it's Grand Bunch, but Texas back with a huge update. That PS4 slash Xbox that I won for my first time entering over here at the MVP draft, I'm giving that bad boy away. I need you guys to do me a favor. Click link in the description below, create your account, and enter my Texas Boy 91 Brawl. The winner of this tournament will get the PS4 slash Xbox that I ended up winning. So I'm giving back to you guys, and it's pretty easy to enter. You just gotta basically create your account, post the MVP packs, and enter. This is my current lineup. We got legendary Rodgers, Antonio Brown, we got Latavis Murray, Delaney Walker, and we got Big Bleep Deck. I love this site, man. It is a mix between Madden Ultimate Team slash 2K with Fantasy Sports. And you come up here and pull some packs and put these guys in your lineup and compete for free prizes. Now, you don't have to buy packs. You can easily come over here and swap out this Aaron Rodgers if you don't got him, for example, and just get the regular Aaron Rodgers. But the regular Aaron Rodgers does not have any modifiers on him. The one that I got gets plus points for doing certain things. And that's why it is kind of cool what they're doing with the site. So if you guys want your chance to win a free console of your choosing, just click the link in the description below, create your account, sign up, enter this giveaway, and best of luck to you. Help me out, man. Let's go ahead and fill this lobby up. We got a lot of room still available. Let's try to get this bad boy filled up, and let's see who can win this free PS4 slash Xbox. So good luck to those that enter, and if I somehow win this again, I'm keeping it this time. Like, I don't think lightning's gonna strike twice, but if I do somehow win my fantasy matchup again, I'm keeping the comments. So go ahead and try to beat me by creating your line today. Up first today, we got this Alec Ogletree, a.k.a. Tree, if you guys watch Hard Knocks. Now, if you guys have not got the Elite 85 overall tree, I don't blame you. It's kind of expensive. <laughs> it's really expensive, actually. I think it's 10 silvers, right? 10 silvers are going for, like, what, 50K? That's expensive, man. That's an expensive ass set. But right now, this guy is going for about 1,000 coins. And he looks pretty good, man. 6'2", 82 speed, 80 block shit, 89 pursuit, 89 tackle, 87 hit power. Now, on my team right now, I have Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner is 9,000 coins. If you see this comparison, you'd be like, why is Bobby Wagner 9,000 coins? I mean, he has four better speed, obviously, but everything else looks similar. Now, Bobby Wagner does have him beat in zone coverage and player connection. Player is actually kind of huge, but if you're looking for a user, and I know some guys do use Bobby Wagner, don't. I mean, you're overspending. You got more height with this guy, Alec Ogletree, so you can go ahead and maybe not have to cover most of the field with this six-foot Wagner. And he can do the same job as Bobby Wagner for one-tenth of the cost. Bobby Wagner is 10K. He's so expensive. And this Ogletree looks very, very good when you compare these two side by side. Next up, we got the Landon Collins battle ready. Always A or X whenever you tackle somebody. Because tackle battle animation pops up. So easy to spam that bad boy and create a sure tackle. Now, this guy is going to be my strong city for my gold gems team when his price does come down. He's 5,000 coins right now, and I'm going to assume when this weekend hits, about 3,000 coins. And I don't know why people are sleeping on this guy's card. He's one of the better cards to drop that's been gold for this past week. Like, yo, 88 speed, 91 hit power. That's pretty cool. Camp Chancellor looks very similar, except for Camp Chancellor slow. Now, obviously, you're not getting the height at six foot three at that strong safety spot. But with the way the coverage is in this game, zone coverage doesn't really matter. If you guys subscribe to Gut Fox, he does some testing, and in some of the podcasts he's talked about, he's done testing with 99 zone coverage and zero zone coverage, and he can't find a difference. So go ahead and exploit the fact the game's kind of broken right now when it comes to zone coverage and get this Lenny Collins play some zone. He'll force some fumbles. He's also fast enough to use it. So if you guys do run a 3-4, 3-4 bear with this guy in the box, he's going to be a menace. I can promise you that right now. Now, what is this guy's block shit? See if you got some decent block shit. If you can blitz off the edge, maybe stop the run consistently. Please have decent block shit. Landon Collins, 79 block shit. Yo, look at TJ Ward, who's an 85 overall. Now, TJ Ward has better zone coverage, but like I said, with Gut Fox is testing, he can't tell the difference between 99 and zero. That's kind of astonishing if you ask me. So go ahead and get yourself Landon Collins, who is a better TJ Ward for less the cost. Goddamn! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Landon Collins is actually really good. Like, the salary cap is all that matters, man. 
the salary cap is all that mattered. And he's kind of close to my two elites, man. Kind of close. I know the overall is 82, but man, these cards are what they weren't. They were expensive to get. I spent so many coins to get this Lori Malloy. So many damn coins. And his letting calls is two salary cap less. <sighs> Next up, we got this Eli Harold. And I like this guy's card a lot, man. Six foot three, 86 speed, 83 block shit, 86 hit power. If you guys do got the three, four Kim. On tier two, you'll go ahead and get a plus three to block shed. So you have 86 block shed and an 80 or an increase in his power move as well. So I'm going to compare this guy by current right outside linebacker. That's the three, four Tom Bali. Tom Bali is ass, man. Tom Bali is so ass. So pretty much if you get the tier three chemistry for 2,500 coins, it's tier two Texas. I'm saying tier three. Like my second take doing this. I'm not starting now. Texas, you're better than this. Commentate better. If you get the tier two chemistry, this is you have a guy that's Tom Bali, but on steroids. Like Tom Bali on the juicy juice. Tom Bali that is on like what the, the stuff that Tyson Gay was taking to run faster. The stuff that uh, the other guy, the, the cheating stuff. He's on some steroids right now. So yeah, I mean the play rec's not there. Obviously, with Tom Bali is what that's good. He'll recognize screen, recognize run pass. But as a guy that can pretty much just blitz the entire time, he'll be fine. So, man, Tom Bali, you're ass, man. You're so ass. But Eli Harold, you are a beast. Now, I think I'm going to end this series on players who are overpriced. And, unfortunately, my man Jonathan Stewart is going to get roasted today. Not his fault, man. Not his fault. But I kind of feel bad for those who are knocking out sets like this. I like how they did the competitive badges this year where they stacked it. That was one of the plays I had last year. There was no way Adrian Peterson should have been 100 tickets and Terrell Suggs is 100 tickets as well. Terrell Suggs at 50, Adrian Peterson 100 is more appropriate because who has more impact on the field? A running back or an outside linebacker? Running back does clearly, especially because you're using him all the damn time. So I like how they stacked it this year, but people are knocking these sets out after playing a lot of damn games to get these collectibles for cards that are kind of not worth their value right now and it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be that way at all but it is what it is right now so john of the store man he's not bad on face value man 5 10 86 speed 87 trucking 88 carry 90 excel 89 juke and 91 elusive so he's one of these halfbacks that is going to be hard to bring down with the 86 91 and also 87 when it comes to those important attributes on his money backs card but when you compare this guy to a guy like derrick henry you're getting better attributes in speed and trucking without a looseness, but then you got David Johnson, who looks pretty similar to this Jonathan Stewart. And you look at the more interesting attributes in the back of this guy's card, like catching is a 64. It's just like, this card really is not that good. Like He's not worth 100,000 coins. And it's not his fault. That's kind of like, eh, it's not his fault. I kind of feel bad because it's not like, uh, it's, not, it's not a good card, man. It's not a good card. Over bleeping price but if you guys like the way i'm ending this video on overpriced cards let me know down in the comment section below i keep doing this bad boy if not i'll end it on a card that i like the most we'll see how this goes keep it flowing keep it dynamic go ahead and keep changing it up and seeing what works for you guys but yep that's all i got for you guys today the texas boy and that is gonna be budget cards you guys might have missed we got some good budget cards and we also got some overpriced cards you guys probably should stay away from hope you all enjoyed peace